I don't know what to do next. Do you have any nifty voo goo gams that can help me? I thought we'd chat for a while. We'll catch up on all times. I don't need any more of your enigma. -m -m -m. I think it's enigmatic hoodoo right now. It's voodoo. I am not going to ask what to do next. I like to try and do it by myself. So, do you have any nifty? I nifties? sense that you wish to dabble in the dangerous voodoo arts. What did you have in mind? Have you got any of those evil destroying voodoo dolls? How about one of those invisibility necklaces to help you sneak into women's locker rooms? Do you have any 10 plus, plus 10 strings, elixirs in stock? I'm in the market for an enchanted sword that hypnotizes my, uh, hypnotizes my enemies into a deep stupor before I skewer them with it. Have you got any snacks? I'm starving. I was like, well, I probably shouldn't be shopping at a time like this. Have you got any snacks? I'm starving. I left my gum machine in Puerto Pollo. <laughs> you might want to try the scum bar if you're really hungry. Oh, that doesn't really sound appetizing. Um, what about an invisibility? How about one of those invisibility necklaces to help me sneak into women's locker rooms? <laughs> those are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Got any? No, it's been a bad year for unspoiled eyeballs. <laughs> okay. Um, right, what about life? Have you got any of those evil destroying voodoo dolls? Sorry, we're fresh out. We're expecting a shipment from Dinky Island early next week, though. What do you mean, we? Do you have any plus ten strength elixirs in stock? Perhaps. What are your current stats? Uh, I don't think I've got any. <laughs> well then, what good would a strength elixir do? I see your point. Hmm. What? When did that sneak in? I could really use a potion that would make me immune to severe gas attacks. You're telling me, tragically, our shipment from Booty Island is also running late. Hmm. Not doing too well, huh? I'm in the market for an enchanted sword that hypnotizes my enemies into a deep stupor before I skewer them with it. You don't need a sword to send your foes into a stupor, my child. <laughs> Just be yourself. She's so mean. Mm, thanks. Well, well you're not doing much use. I probably shouldn't be shopping at a time like this. True. Um, right, okay. My mystic eye sees precious time wasted in idle chit-chat. What would you like to know? Uh, didn't you relocate to the island of Porto Polo? Why is Mila I Mele Island so empty? You helped me so much over the years and I still don't know your name. You've helped me so much over the years and I still don't know your name. My name is not important. Oh, oh come on. What's your name? Do not taunt the fates, Threepwood. The truth of my name will be revealed when the time is right, and no sooner. And what that really means is, we haven't thought of a name for her yet, so stop asking. Why is Melee Island so empty? That is an excellent question, Guybrush. I thought so. <laughs> well? What? Why is Melee Island so empty? Oh, that. About a month ago, a mysterious overseas investor began buying up all of Melee Island from the local pirates. Those that wouldn't sell have been challenged to various forms of insult games. That's insult me. Insult sword fighting, insult golf, insult darts, insult arm wrestling. You get the idea. Strangely, this investor always wins. He's the best insulter the Tri-Island area has ever seen. Eventually, even the craftiest of Mele's pirates have been forced to sell. After wagering their homes and businesses in ever-escalating rounds of insult gaming. How awful. Why don't the pirates just refuse to play? How many pirates do you know that can resist a duel? Good point. In any event, the few pirates remaining on Mele Island live in constant fear of being challenged by this foreign investor. That's not nice. Okay, do you know any more about him? Do you know anything more about the mysterious foreign investor? Only that he comes from a far away exotic place called Sydney. <laughs> Sydney? That sounds like the name of a kid who gets beat up a lot in school. Hmm, okay, so he's Australian. Uh, go on then. Didn't you relocate to the island of Puerto Pollo? I did, but I sensed that I was needed here on Melee. Besides, the incessant clucking on Puerto Pollo was driving me mad. Yeah, it would me too. Aww. Did you really move your thriving voodoo emporium back to Melee Island just to be near me? Yes, 
But perhaps my voodoo senses were on the fritz. <laughs> oh, she's so horrible. I'd like to talk about more important matters. Like what? Mm. I'm done. I don't need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. Right, and then she's gone. Right, I'll end it here. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I will be doing a video straight after this. So, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>